September 2018, Fort Knox, Kentucky. Our travels have brought us to Fort Knox, home of the U.S. Gold Depository. We parked our coach on Fort Knox, but this time, instead of being close to the beach, we were close to a lot of gold. You'd think them having so much gold here did give away a couple of free samples, but no dice. So instead, we decided to spend our time here by visiting Mammoth Cave National Park. And although the park is home to Mammoth Caves, it also has a lot to see above ground. Janet and I spent a couple of days exploring the trails in and around the park. But eventually, we made it down into the cave. This was a huge underground passage. And although it didn't have all the formations we normally see in caves, you know, the stalactites, stalagmites and such, it was still a really interesting exploration. This cave was completely different from any other cave that Janet and I explored. And we certainly did get a workout climbing into and back up and out of this cave. We only spent about five days in Kentucky. Then we moved on to Nashville, Tennessee. Janet has some family in Nashville, so of course, as soon as we got there, we headed off to a winery. Well, actually, several wineries. But of course, you can't go to Nashville without going downtown and exploring the sights and sounds of this music city. The streets were busy with people. And it seemed as every door we passed had a different kind of music coming out of it. It seemed that every place we went into had a band performing live on stage and more people around it than you could possibly count. But there was a lot more to see in Nashville, so we began to explore the city. We ran across a park in the city where artists were creating some beautiful chalk art. It's amazing what you can do with a box of chalk. After a week-long visit, it was again time for us to move on, but this time, Coleman, Alabama. The trip to Alabama wasn't very long, and the point of it was to see an old friend of ours. This is Jim Vest, and he's the guy that gave Janet her first job after she retired from the Air Force. Jim is now retired and a musician at some of the local bars. It was great to see him again and even better to see that he found a way to enjoy his retirement. But after a short visit and a sense that it was getting cold out there, it was time to move on to Jacksonville, Florida. We stayed at an RV park on Naval Air Station Jacksonville. And boy did I miss the beaches. The thing about Navy bases is they're usually on the coast, so you get to wake up to this outside your window every morning. We didn't stay long in Jacksonville. It was really only a stop along the way to our winter RV park. But hey, we were back in Florida. 
So now it's October. We're in northern Florida. We've got three more states on our list, and it's time to move further south before it gets much colder.